Hey folks, Spencer Rempel for Gibbons Motor Toys here. Hey, I am really excited today because Kingfisher has been delivering some boats and I have eagerly been anticipating the 1875 Extreme Shallow, anxious to make a video of it, anxious to show it off to you folks there so you can order one up for yourself for spring. This is one of my favorite boats. Since I moved here and discovered the North Saskatchewan River and river jet boating, I love this boat, I love its layout. 8 degree V bottom, goes shallow, shallow. We've beefed it up on the bottom yet too, so it's perfect for the rivers around here. You know, heck, I'll tell you more about that once we take a look at it. First off, it comes all wrapped up in shipping protection, so I gotta take my knife and we'll show you just how you skin an 1875 Extreme Shallow. Let's go do it. and she's looking fine. I love this color. Love the extreme decal there on the side. That's looking good too, eh? There's a few things I gotta do now. I can put the top up and uh, see, put the windshield in place. And so, hey, take a look. Let's get her put together. Now this boat is 18 feet long, swim platform on the back, stomp grate up there that you'll see as well, and then it's formed in reverse chine that Kingfisher is so famous for, build an extra strength into that side. And what we've done here with the bottom, we've had this beef, we've had them beef this up for us uh, at the Kingfisher factory. We have a 2.250, that's quarter inch bottom on here. And then on the inside, we have an internal keel plate of again, 0.250, another quarter inch. So you've got running through the center of this boat. When you're up on step, the keel, the center of the boat is all that's gonna be really in the water and vulnerable to any kind of hits or impacts. In that area, you've got a half inch of, uh, of aluminum and then a half inch of the UHMW that you've seen from in the front there yet too. I'll try to get you another look underneath and you can see how it's protected all around the intake grate as well. This boat's got a lot of extra protection and it's really a fabulous choice for shallow lakes and that, but we've beefed it up so that it's a great choice for rivers around here. She's gonna take it. That is a tried, tested, and proven engine from Mercury, the Optimax 200. It's a V6. Look at how out in the open it is. This is just fantastic to work at. You need to work on, you need to access anything. Uh, like here is your fuel pump, right here out in the open. The entire boat weighs only 1,800 pounds, and we're looking at 200 horsepower. And that's at the pump, not at the engine. 200 horsepower, 1,800 pounds is really a fantastic power to weight ratio. You can fill this boat up with a good load and still come up on the plane. If or maybe when you do get stuck up on a gravel bar across a beaver dam or someplace crazy because you'll go extreme shallow, you're probably going to go extreme places. Hey, you and a couple of guys can hop out and just push it right off. Great side seats here that flip up and make storage down here for you as well. And we put the front ones on boxes that are lockable as well. So you have some great lockable storage underneath the front seats here. The windshield in this 1875 Extreme Shallow is a fabulous design. It is built so strong and so tough. Look at these reinforcements that they have here. You can pull yourself up on here anytime you want and you're not gonna worry about breaking your windshield. There's no plastic around here at all. She's 100% heavy gauge welded aluminum. That's what we like to see. We even went ahead and had them add on some handholds up here because that's the way you usually drive in your jet boat. You're standing up and you're holding on to the front. Now, the beautiful design to this extreme shallow is the walkthrough windshield. Opens up like that and then the bottom here as well. Bottom opens up and you walk right through into the front. You've got a lot of space up there. 
It's a really great area for loading and unloading gear. You just nudge up on shore, heck, ram her right up on shore. This platform here is great for sitting on. It's great for jumping in and out of the boat as a step. And then of course, they don't, no wasted space in this boat. It's always all about storage. There's some great storage underneath here as well.